So what I'm thinking <coughs> is I need to put in a double needle up here so that the cuff works better. So it's fairly easy to do. Just get up my little box and change to double needle. Mm. You know, I don't know, remember if you can do double needle on the right and the left, or if you have to do it in the left and the right, or the medium and the right. I'm going to go with the medium and the right, and just see what happens. middle needle on the right, so... I think this is probably one of those few times maybe tweezers or a needle holder would make this a little easier. What I tend to do is just snug it in there, not totally tighten the screw, just to make sure that I've got the needle all the way up. Because it's sometimes, because it's you're working in such squidgy spaces, it's easy to not get the needle all the way up, and then you get issues. Say so that's all the way up now. Perfect. Now I need some dark thread. I shall. I think I'm finished with the overlocker now, so I shall steal thread from here. This actually should be over here, strictly speaking. Doesn't always make much of a difference, but hey, let's not uh, chance any problems. Snip required. Mm -hmm. It's decided to be awkward. down underneath. Good. Now let's see what happens. So this is always important to run a little test and see what we end up with. Okay. 
I'm not seeing any movement whatsoever from the right needle, so somehow we broke the thread immediately. So I'm guessing I've threaded something wrong here. Try again. broke the thread again. So, something's definitely wrong, so I need to figure this out. Oops. Okay. I shall put you on pause until I fix it and report that. No surprise, user error. So I found the instructions for the middle and right needle. They're down here. And it says tension 6 for the left needle, four for the middle needle, I had it up to six, that's one of it, and three for the looper. But I also realized that I didn't, hadn't run the thread correctly along there, so entirely my fault. It seems to be working. No, not quite, it just broke it again. Sue, so, what have I done wrong? Need to check that needle. Maybe I've not put the needle in right. There's no reason for that. Okay, so after monkeying about with this, I've put the setting for the lighter tension because the tension was just way too strong, so it was snapping the thread all the time. I've even had to lower this um, right needle tension down to just one. And if I increase it too much more, then it starts breaking the thread. However, the good news is with those settings, I've now got a decent cover stitch for the underneath. I'm a bit surprised, but that's the thing with fabric density changing. You just never know. So that's working fine now. I just need to um, set the machine up. for uh, <clears throat> sewing. So what I shall do is put steam seam stick on and then use the free arm of this machine, but I have to move all this out of the way, so I should do that now.